Hello everyone, welcome to my young and the restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Young and the Restless Monday, January 22 spoilers hint at some exciting events in Geno City to start the week. To begin with, Ashley Abbott will continue to be consumed by her obsession with Tucker McCall's Parisian incident. It appears that she will turn to Tracy Abbott, and her sister will assist in dismantling the situation. Tracy will stop at nothing to find out why Ashley is going crazy over this and is on the verge of losing her mind. Tracy and Ashley are going to discuss the event in the Abbott living room. Tracy will remind you that there are three sides to any story, the truth, your side, and his side. Tracy adds that they must ascertain the facts of the situation. Ashley feels she knows how to approach this and agrees. How is Ashley going to find out the whole story? Could she possibly locate an eyewitness to corroborate her story? Daniel Romolotti, who lives across town, is going to have a change of heart regarding his relationship with Lily Winters. Daniel responds that he isn't sure when Heather Stevens asks him if he thinks he has a future with his present girlfriend in this week's Why and R preview. Last but not least, despite being imprisoned, Jordan is determined to get revenge on the Newman family and Claire Grace. According to Why and R previews, Jordan will be seen in what looks to be a jail hallway in this week's preview, which airs from January 22 to January 26. She's contacting Claire on her cell phone and pleading with her not to end the call. Is Jordan attempting to flee, or is this all just a horrible dream? Will Claire provide her any assistance? According to Young and the rest of spoilers, Jordan will not give up on getting her retribution, so viewers should prepare for whatever action she takes next. Before the end of the week starts, the present show had a few unstable features, as per the Friday, January 20 recap and spoilers. Jordan appears to Claire effortlessness in bed toward the start of the episode, basically telling her that she could always be unable to dispose of her. Fortunately, Claire awakens to find Victoria Newman on her bed, telling her little girl, you are in good company. It was all main a fantasy. Together, the two ladies have an incredible scene. Victoria lets Claire know the amount she's worked on and how satisfied she is of her. In the wake of talking momentarily with Jordan in the jail, that's what Claire concedes despite the fact that she is feeling quite a bit better that the most horrendously terrible is behind her, she is as yet terrified of the extensive recuperation process that lies ahead. Also, she considers what she would do whenever she is liberated, to which Victoria welcomes her to visit Geno City so she can meet her family members. However, Claire brings up that she definitely realizes the Newmans well. Victoria guarantees her little girl that she will currently have the valuable chance to find out about the family from first-hand experience, as opposed to through promulgation from her auntie or what she's perused on the web. Claire finishes up their discussion by letting Victoria and Cole Howard to visit, and the two offer a hug. In related news, Cole makes an appearance to the farm in the wake of getting a call from Victor Newman. The men joke that Victor doesn't bring long to get serious, despite the fact that it's been a hot moment since he asked Cole for a gathering. At the point when he asks about Cole's arrangements with Claire, the recently fathered man answers that his main objective in life is to help his girl. He will likely take cues from her and help her in any capacity he can, as she is as yet recuperating from a lot of pressure. He illuminates Victor that he will be getting back to Geno City for a brief time, as he has disappeared from non-appearance from Oxford College to deal with his book. He is right here, composing it any place he needs, with no cut-off time. Similarly that Cole focuses on his little girl, Victor perceives that he focuses on Victoria too. Nothing in his universe will precede this. As Jack Abbott returns down the stairs at the Abbott bequest, he finds Ashley Abbott still hopeless over Exhaust McCall's a slighting of her. Jack advises her to disregard Exhaust and go on, yet she can't relinquish him and goes out rapidly. Exhaust swings by as David Hamilton Winters and Billy Abbott are having a functioning lunch at GCAC. Divin welcomes in with a virus grin, and Exhaust attempts to keep a stoic expression while messed around with Billy. 
He guarantees the two that Glissade will be his new need, and they ought not be worried about his intruding with Chancellor Winters. Besides, he in all actuality do never really imperil the legacy of his child and grandson. Exhaust takes cues from Billy and withdraws from their circle when he inquires as to why he can't deal with the business from Paris. Devon answers that he doesn't accept his dad when Billy finds out if he believes him to ease off of Cedar. Exhaust experiences Ashley as he is leaving, and the two remember the Paris Bistro episode. Exhaust appears to be very stupefied as Ashley blames him for being awful and attempting to disrupt her mental stability. To examine things further, she encourages him into the jazz relax bar. They do, yet, not much really finishes. Exhaust illuminates her that she has made up this story in her psyche to paint him as a malicious person since she is so frightened by committing. At the point when Lauren Fenmore shows up at Nikki Newman's office in the accompanying scene, she admits immediately to educating Jack regarding Nikki's drinking issues. Lauren guarantees her that she remains by her activities and would take them once more. She believes Nikki should get the assistance she requires, and on the grounds that Seth, her AA support, is backsliding, she really wants a companion close by. Nikki lets herself know that her outrage is coordinated towards herself as opposed to Lauren or Jack. Lauren answers that her buddies need to help her while Nikki wails over the way that she would rather not drag them down. Jack is the best contender to be her support since he truly thinks often about her as well as comprehends the battles she faces. Worried about Victor and their competition, Nikki raises the subject, calling attention to that it would bother Victor assuming she goes to Jack rather than him for solace. Lauren recognizes this, however she likewise points out that Victor's first concerns are Nikki's temperance and well-being. It's a good idea to Nikki. Shockingly, Lauren passes on as the mustache closes their discussion to take Nikki to lunch. Normally, Lauren enlightens Jack regarding her discussion with Nikki at the Abbott Manor after they leave her office. As a support, that's what she sees in spite of the fact that Nikki was all the while investing some part of energy, she understood that it was so important to have a mate who is thoughtful to her fixation. Lauren believes as an opportunity Nikki will ultimately agree to rely upon Jack as her AA support. Nikki and Victor eat well at society in the in the meantime. Victor gives her a report on his discussion with Cole and his interests on the teacher getting back to GC. Considering that his girl has had a lot of unrest and various fruitless connections throughout the long term, he is a little stressed over a heartfelt gathering with Vicky. In any case, Nikki lets him know that the two split up quite a while before Claire was conceived. Fans can in any case tell that the mustache has an uncomfortable outlook on Cole, and Victor's instinct is dependably right. At last, Vicky and Cole get together for espresso at Blood Red. She gives him a report on their discussion, their embrace leap forward, and how their girl appears to have turned a corner. Cole communicates a little envy over the embrace, yet his temperament is lifted when Victoria lets him know that Claire has given her consent for them to visit. They cheer over her progression. Astoundingly, Cole makes reference to his experience at the farm with the mustache. He didn't remark adversely on the discussion, yet he seemed to distort Victor's words. Cole illuminates Victoria that her dad communicated questions about the creator's future aims and, surprisingly, recommended that things could have been far more detestable. He illuminates Victoria that one thing Victor and he share practically speaking is that the two of them love to safeguard their little girls. By and by, he went against Victor's assertion during their discussion when he let Victoria know that Victor was moving to coordinate Claire in the family. Is Cole deliberately messing around to actuate struggle, or would he say he is endeavouring to limit any show among Victor and Vicky? As per why and our secrets, Cole has been acting unusually recently, passing on fans to address in the event that he's making something happen. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.